Hey, I'm Troy. I'm going to show you how to calibrate your fob today. Calibration is a process that enables Kivo's inside-outside security functionality and helps prevent your door from being opened by an unauthorized user when your fob is on the inside. Once you successfully calibrate, the inside-outside sensor is turned on and the lock's activation range will be optimized for your fob and entryway. Activation range is the area around the lock in which it can detect your fob and respond to your touch. You can't calibrate a fob unless it's awake and enrolled, so I'm going to touch the lock a couple of times to show you that this fob is communicating with the lock. The calibration process is timed, so let me tell you a few things first. When it's time to perform the calibration touch sequence, I'm going to put the fob in my front pocket. Through research and testing, we found that this allows for the most flexibility in where you carry it during normal use. If you don't have a front pocket, then you can calibrate while holding the fob in your hand, purse or backpack, but you may be limited to holding it in the same general place during normal use. Another thing to keep in mind is your device needs to have a direct line of sight to your lock. So when it's in my pocket, I'll be lining it up with the lock. If you're calibrating in your backpack or purse, it's really best to have it in the outermost pocket that's closest to the lock and turn towards the lock if you need to. Also, we don't want to stand too close to the lock during calibration. It's best to stand at an extended arm's reach from the lock so we don't disrupt Kivo's signal. You'll be able to tell when the lock is in calibration mode because the light ring will be solid green. We're going to be touching the deadbolt rows a total of three times, but not too fast. We touch it once when it's solid green and that'll make it spin. You don't want to touch it while it's spinning, wait for it to turn solid again. After the final touch, it'll flash green if calibration is successful or red if it's unsuccessful. Because every calibration environment's unique, it may take a few times before you get the green flash for a successful calibration. But luckily, the calibration process is pretty quick, so if you see a red flash, just try calibrating again. All right, let's calibrate the Kivo. Slide the battery cover off the lock interior. Press the calibrate button and hold the fob close against the back panel until you see the fob's LED flash amber. Replace the battery cover and walk outside with the fob and close the door. I like to bring my standard key with me just in case. There's that solid green we talked about. Now I'm going to put the fob in my front pocket, make sure nothing else is in my pocket, establish that direct line of sight with the lock, and stand at an extended arm's reach. I'm touching when the light ring is solid green. There's the spin, touch again. Now that green flash means calibration success and the inside-outside sensor has been enabled for my fob. Some common reasons for an unsuccessful calibration are standing too close or too far, not putting the battery cover back on when you go outside, that's very common. And if you're still unsuccessful, your fob could still be in sleep mode or not even enroll with your lock. Check out our fob quick start video to fix that. Sometimes, the layout of your entryway doesn't allow you to establish a clear line of sight between the pocket and the lock. If that's the case, you might need to experiment to put the fob somewhere else during calibration, like in your hand or your backpack or your purse. Just remember that you may need to keep the fob in that same area during normal use. If you still can't get your fob to calibrate, you could have some damage to your antenna cable introduced during installation. You can check this out by slightly removing the interior and battery pack from the door and take a peek at that cable. Make sure the connector is tucked properly and ensure it stays there when you're reinstalling the interior. For more help with the cable, you can check out our installation video online. All right, let's test the fob now that it's been calibrated. I'll touch the lock from the outside to make sure it's still communicating. Great. Everything's working fine. Now when I go inside with my fob, which I'll simulate here in the studio, and an unauthorized user touches a lock from the outside, the inside-outside sensor will be able to determine that my fob is on the inside and it won't unlock the deadbolt. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Kivo videos coming your way. If you still have questions, be sure to contact Kivo Support, check out our website, and watch our other videos online. Thanks.